Hello again from Sheffield, where today we are on chapter four of the book of James. There is so much in here, and I've got like two minutes to talk to you, so I'm not even going to scratch the surface of this chapter. But let me try and extract a couple of things very quickly that can hopefully challenge you and challenge me today. The first thing is that James begins this chapter by saying that fighting is a bad thing. Quarrels, arguments, fights are really bad. And he says they all spring from wrong motives within our hearts. We want more stuff. We want more power. We want more influence. And James says, this is really bad. We shouldn't argue. We shouldn't fight. We shouldn't quarrel. Remember in chapter one, every good and perfect gift comes from God. So James moves on in verses two and three to say that this quarreling, this arguing that makes us want more stuff uh, is all rooted in the fact that we don't pray properly. He says we need to learn to ask the Lord for what we need in our lives, that God will provide what we need in our lives. And James says that, if you like, the problems of pr in our prayer lives stem from we forget to pray at all, which, let's be honest, we do, or we pray for the wrong things, um, or we pray with the wrong motive in our heart. Our prayers become more powerful when we allow the Lord to help us know what we should pray for. That means asking God, what should I be praying for? What do I need in my life? What do you want me to do? What is your will for my life? The best prayer is when we ask God to change our hearts, to make us more like Jesus, so we learn to pray in tune with his spirit. But of course, the beautiful truth is, as Christians, if we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit's already within us. And the Bible tells us that God is already praying in our hearts and praying before the throne for us. So let's get our prayer lives sorted out. But my mum always told me when I was a little boy that God gave me one mouth and two ears and we should learn to pray with those proportions. Sometimes it's really easy to pray going yak, yak, yak all the time. God, do this, do that. Bless this person, help this person, give me this. When actually we should take time to be still when we pray. Say, Lord, what do you want to say to me? What passage of scripture could you lead me to to speak into my life today? It's as we do that, as we allow ourselves to be shaped by Jesus, to keep company with Jesus, to be still in his presence, we become more shaped by Jesus. And that means we pray better and live better. We have less arguments, our actions match our words, and our lives point to Jesus. And James finishes this little chapter off by saying, always ask, what is God's will for me today? But then don't just ask what God's will is for me today. Do God's will for me today. Have a great day. God bless you.